Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Gear Free The Iron Knight Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for August 2021. With the release of King's Court, we were given the new Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight. So I figured with this new card that's a mix between Gear Free The Iron Knight and Guilty of the D-Knight, it was time for an update to the Gear Free The Iron Knight deck, which can now implement different fusion plays with its new fusion boss monster, along with its main go-to play to use your release restraint spell card to summon out Gear Free the Swordmaster. This is Gear Free the Iron Knight with all of its armor and Swordmaster implementing the use of all the different equipped spells you use in the deck with the Gear Free the Iron Knight monster. It's a really, really fun deck. I always enjoy updating this deck. And with the new support, definitely a lot more fun different plays you can use for it all together. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for our main go-to monster in the deck, we are running three Gear Free the Iron Knight. When an equipped card is equipped to this card, destroy the equipped card. So other than the fact that you can benefit from one equipped card we have in this deck with the destruction of it, it really is just in the deck to summon out our next go-to boss monster. And there are plenty of ways to summon out this warrior monster with all the different support cards that I'm running in this deck to utilize warrior monsters and the fact that it can be used with Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight, as one of the fusion requirements, needing two warrior monsters with different attributes. And Gear Free, the Iron Knight, being an earth monster, just helps for that play with some of the other setup we run in the deck with our next warrior monster being gear freed the sword master this card is in here more for the setup of your release restraint but what's great about gear freed the sword master is it is also a warrior light monster unlike gear freed the iron knight which is an earth attribute monster you can rely on gear freed the sword master and gear freed the iron knight on the field as the two monsters needed to fusion out your gear freed uh guilty gear freed the magic Steel Knight, just needing those two warrior monsters with the different attributes. And with Gear Free the Swordmaster, it cannot be normal summon or set. It cannot be special summon except by the effect of release restraint. And when this card is equipped with an equipped card, destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. So it's not a once per turn either. So if you equip more and more different cards onto Gear Free the Swordmaster, it's just an added bonus for that play setup and destruction against your opponent. I only run two of this card though. It can be uh, kind of a dead draw in your hand since it has to be special summon with release restraint. And this card can summon it from the hand or deck so i prefer to summon it from the deck and not take up cards in my hand which i can you know better utilize with some other warrior plays i run in the deck uh for some of the other warrior support i also run three junk forward just being another easy special summon onto the field we have some link monsters and other extra deck monsters that can definitely benefit from being summoned out on the field the fact that a sold can help to special warrior monsters and the fact that it's also a light attribute monster just like gear free the sword master can work with our different attribute earth monsters which are the majority of the warrior monsters we run in the main deck just because they're the easiest ones to summon out along with the next one which is goblinberg this is in here for the rank four option to go into different rank four monsters that can still be benefited being warrior monsters and light monsters on the field for the different attribute with our earth attribute gearfrid the iron knight but also goblinberg just being that easy special summon for any of the monsters in our hand to special summon a level four or lower onto the field to use now having a fusion play as one of our go-to plays in the deck i was trying to decide what uh fusion support would be the best i decided to go with elemental hero blaze man i thought of prisma but then yeah, i'd have to go for more of a hero lineup at least with blaze man being the only hero in the deck it's mainly in the deck for a search for polymerization so i can have an easy way to fusion summon with blaze man and let's say i have gear free the iron knight in my hand those are the two attributes needed right there since blaze man is a fire attribute warrior monster so i can search out the polymerization with that search so very very useful then you got special summon for us this turn except for fusion monsters so you're not limited with that play either being the fact that guilty gear freed is a fusion monster to summon out and then the last of the monsters that i run in the main deck are three summoner monk now we run a good number of spells in the deck so being able to discard one of those spells just to summon out gear freed the iron knight with summoner monk onto the field means we have our monster needed for our release restraint spell so with it, you have the option to then summon out your Gear Free the Sword Master that much easier, not having to rely on any of the other plays to summon out Gear Free the Iron Knight onto the field and just rely on the easy special summon of Summoner Monk. And if we don't have that play to go for, it can be another uh, Rank 4 XC summon to summon out a Warrior Monster from the Extra Deck or even one of our other Link Monsters. 
And that is it for the monsters. The setup play style for the monsters is pretty straightforward. Just summoning out Gear Freed as fast as we can, benefiting from our fusions to go into Guilty Gear Freed, or go for the play setup that can summon out Gear Freed the Sword Master. I'll go with, over a few of the combo plays at the end of the video as well. But for the spell cards, I run three Release Restraint. Now, I run more of this card over Gear Freed the Sword Master just so I can see it uh, more quickly in my hand. You have to rely on drawing Release Restraint and the you know, the best way to go about it. There's not really any search cards for it. And once you have Gear Free the Iron Knight set up on the field, all you have to do is activate this card and then you can summon out Gear Free the Sword Master. It's why I'm running less of this card because if you do open up, you know, multiple cards and copies of Release Restraint that you can't use, you can at least discard them for the cost of Summoner Monk to the graveyard. I also run the three polymerization. The Guilty Gear Freed isn't the only fusion target we have in the extra deck, so I don't really feel uh, too risky with running multiples of this card. We are running multiple Guilty Gear Freed since it's not limited to just Gear Freed the Iron Knight in the extra deck. You can run multiple different warrior monsters and still summon that card out onto the field. But still having more of an offensive strategy against my opponent, I do run two defusion. What's great with that card is you can summon out Guilty Gear Freed and then defusion back into your different monsters you summon down to the field just remember if you used gear freed the sword master you can't special summon this card back out it has to be special summoned through the release restraint spell card and can't be special summoned through other ways so the best time when the defusion comes up is if i use let's say elemental hero blaze man and gear freed the iron knight to summon them back onto the field to give you more plays and even a special summon search of blaze man can add another polymerization to my hand to then go into another fusion play for the rest of the fusion support in the main deck, I also run two super polymerization. There is a slight chance that you may come across an opponent that has a warrior monster, and even the better if it's a different attribute warrior monster, because then you can use super polymerization to use that opponent's monster as a fusion resource, needing just two warrior monsters with different attributes. Taking their resource, you can go out for one of your own boss monsters, and you have more benefits with Guilty Gear Read the Magical Steel Knight when the monsters are on the field. So using super polymerization is an even better play at that. You you can summon out Guilty Gear Freed with Polymerization and Warrior Monster from your hand, but you won't fully utilize that monster like you would with Super Polymerization or just having those monsters on the field. And then for the equip cards to work with Gear Free the Sword Master and even just the Assault play for special summoning from the main deck, I run one Moon Mirror Shield, one Living Fossil, one Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, and one Power of the Guardians. Now I have four in here just for the potential to, you know, send all four to the graveyard and summon out Gear Free the Iron Knight with Assault uh, from the main deck. But also what's great about the Phoenix Blade is you can recycle this card. You can equip only two a Warrior Monster, it gains 300 attack, and during the main phase of the cards in your graveyard you can banish two warrior monsters to add this card to your hand so being able to reuse this card to equip on to gear free the sword master for more destruction plays and then always have a you know equip spell to go into is why i like running assaults you can get this card quickly into the graveyard and then just add it back to your hand to use with gear free the sword master and for some of the other one-ofs that I run in the uh, main deck, I run one Upstart Goblin. Now, if you want to run another equip spell, this could be the spot you take out for that equip spell, adding a fifth copy in. Uh, the biggest weakness, I would say, is just if you open up Gear Freed the Iron Knight and these equip spells, you really have cards that do nothing in your hand. So that's why I try to reduce the number of equip spells around the deck and just stick to the one Upstart Goblin so I can draw into cards that I can better utilize. I also run one Call by the Grave to help shut down my opponent's graveyard plays or any of their hand traps one reinforcements of the army to search out gear freed the iron knight or any of the warriors that i play that are level four or lower the one monster reborn for special summoning resources back to the field to reuse pot of avarice for recycling especially the gear freed the sword master back into the main deck for me to special summon if i have the extra release restraint and then also being able to shuffle gear freed back into the deck to draw into and lastly the one instant fusion now this is in here for a uh, fusion summon of guilty of the d knight which is a light warrior monster again this is another one that joey used i think we're getting some more guilty of the d knight support or even a new version of the card in the upcoming uh booster set and when we do definitely will be an awesome addition to the deck but it's just the target to go into with instant fusion giving you one of the warrior monsters on the field to then fusion summon into your guilty gear freed the magical knight 
And then that is it for these spells. I know we run a lot of spells, but they work very, very well for the entire setup of what the deck is meant to do, including fusion summoning and then just equipping on to our different monsters. For the trap lineup, the only trap I'm running in the deck is Blast with the Chain. So this card can benefit depending on which Gearfried the Iron Knight or Gearfried the Swordmaster you equip onto. You target one face-up monster. You control, equip this card to that target. It gains 500 attack. And when this card is destroyed by a card effect while equipped to a target card in the field, you destroy that target. So with this card, being able to target a card on the field and destroy it, if you were to equip it onto Gearfried the Iron Knight, you get a destruction right then and there because any card that is equipped onto it is destroyed, destroying Blast with the Chain, and then destroying one of your opponent's cards. But the best option is just to have Gear Free the Swordmaster on the field and then activating Blast with the Chain on your opponent's turn, disrupting any play they have because when you equip it onto Gear Free the Swordmaster, you'll activate that same play, except with Gear Free's own effect, destroying one of your opponent's cards. And that is it for the main deck. When I move on to the extra deck, I run two of the Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight. Uh, I've said it plenty of times in this video already. You need two warrior monsters with different attributes. And once per turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets this card, quick effect, you can negate that effect. And if you do, destroy one card in the field. And if this card is fusion summoned using only monsters on the field and material, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. And once per turn, if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, you can banish one spell from your graveyard. If this card gains attack equal to half the current defense of the until the end of turn. So with this card, you have the defense power of equal to half its current defense, meaning it can reach some pretty high numbers. But what I love about this card is that it implements the magical properties of Guilty of the D-Knight with Gear Freed the Iron Knight. With this card, when you have all the different spells in your graveyard that you can make use of being the equipped spells, banishing them afterwards to have this card fully utilize its attack power, but also being able to attack twice if the monsters are on the field. And also with this card being able to have that be unaffected by card effects that target is a real play on the actual effect that you know going past the equip spells this card can be unaffected by anything if you so allow it with the effect you activate for the rest of the extra deck i'm also running the one guilty of the d knight this is just an additional monster that you can summon out with instant fusion onto the field being a level five fusion a warrior light works perfectly with gear free the iron knight and i think that's the actual true intention it's a fusion between the two cards when you have them both on the field they can fuse right into Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight, which I'll go over the combos all at the end of the video as well. I also run the one Mud Dragon, more uh, of the, you know, super polymerization targets with this card. The one Elemental Hero Nova Master and the one Elemental Hero Gaia is more for the Blazeman play, so I can have some more fusion options with cards in the deck using my Elemental Hero Blazeman lineup and the different attribute monsters I run. For the Link Monsters, I run one Predator Plant, Vert, and Anaconda. Once again, easy fusion setup. The Assault for the Equip Summon, uh, special summoning that I can do from the main deck. And also just being able to search out a Warrior Monster means if I have two Warrior Monsters on the field, I can just add Gear Free to my hand with this card and summon it next turn. The one Nightmare Phoenix for back row destruction. One Underclock Taker, a better way to lower my opponent's monster's attack and then basically hit them for a bigger power play with one of my boss monsters in the deck. And for the Xyz Monsters, I run one. One Heroic Champion Excalibur and one Gaga Ga Cowboy for different attribute warrior monsters to go into. Same with number 39 Utopia and Utopia the Lightning. And then lastly, for the rank three play, is just one Levier the Sea Dragon. For if I have to get any of my banished resources back, I can use the junk forwards in the deck to summon out this card and special summon them onto the field. And then as for the go-to plays in the deck, if you have your opening hand of your Instant Fusion with your Polymerization and then your Gear Free the Iron Knight, you have all the cards needed to go into your main new boss monster in the deck, which is Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight, and benefiting from the fact that they'll both be on the field. You can activate the Instant Fusion, paying the life points to summon out Guilty of the D-Knight on the field, Normal Summon Gear Free, and then activate Polymerization to fuse the two together, and summon out Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight, onto the field. Having the full requirements for all of this card's monster effects, since both of the monsters were on the field for you to use. If you go for the Release Restraint play, if you have, let's say, any of your spells in your hand, and just one of them to discard with Summoner Monk, you can summon out your Summoner Monk, discarding the spell card, to then Special Summon Gear Free, the Iron Knight, back onto the field, and then activating the Release Restraint, to then summon out your 
or main go to gear free the sword master onto the field and just using the summoner monk setup with that and if you have any of the equip spells in your hand or any that you can set up against your opponent the better with this card also one of the last combos that you can do is just with any of the other warrior monsters we run in the deck summoning them out gives you the two warrior target search so then being able to then go for the sold play with this card and when this card is link summoned you can add one warrior monster from your deck to your hand so this next play will all go together if you have any of your equip spells in the deck to use if they're all still in the deck and you want to summon out gear free with that play you can at least add gear free the sword master to your hand to risk not drawing it just being another search and then you can use the other play of Isolde to send all the equip spells we have in the deck to the graveyard to then summon out your gear free the iron knight just remember you can't summon gear for the sword master if you added it this way so you can always add another warrior target to your hand with this card but then also uh, basically only keep gear free the sword master in the deck if you have the release restraint in your hand to summon out gear free the iron knight onto the field and then if you have the warriors in the graveyard you can add the phoenix blade back to your hand with the banished to equip on to gear free the sword master and also you can just keep the gear free the iron knight on the field with a soul if you have the polymerization because then you can use these two to fuse in to your guilty gear free the magical steel knight on the field and still go for the um, sword equip play just to power up this card even more than it was on the field but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. This, like I said, one of the decks I was most excited to build once I saw it was getting released in the King's Court booster pack. And as always, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.